Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sin. And Nate Sid 454. Be sure to follow us over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. Thanks for tuning in to part seven of our series of what we want to see in she season three. Be sure to check out all the other videos. Parts one through three are going to be all the Horde characters. And then from part four onward, it's going to be all the Alliance good guy characters. But here in part seven, it's all about Adora, she and Swiftwind. It was a lot of fun making these videos. Uh, it was great that it was all it was all recorded in one big long session, and then I broke it up. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we have so much fun just talking shows. We we've always done this before we even did any YouTube stuff. We would sit and talk about, well, what would we do in these situations? So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments, and on to the show. Um, and okay, Adora, who hasn't grown at all. No. In any way, is Adora from season one any different than Adora in season two in any way? I feel like they really dropped the ball on her. It's weird to have a main character not be the important character. Yeah, she's nothing. Nothing. Uh, she's like trained better. She's built that tower. That's about. And she learned how to like make her sword turn into different things. Yeah, like a pot. Uh, yeah, and a cup. And a because cup. you know she needs to drink tea. Uh, and a flu. And, and a flu. Yeah, definitely the flu. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say with Adora because she's so bland. Um, more of those hero moments. Remember when she got so angry in the uh, D&D episode? So she's frustrated with her friends because they're all idiots. Yes. Um, but then they go, let's just do it, you know, uh, we think on her feet. And then they win. So the, the, the moral of the story is don't ever plan anything. Just run out there with no plan at all. Just work out. No. no. <laughs> that is such a horrible lesson. There's very few people that can do that. And in that, this, I brought this up. In that episode, she goes... This is what's going to happen. We're going to get attacked. All this thing. Catcher's going to draw me away. You guys will be left defenseless. They're all going to die and get captured. In the very next episode, what did Adora do? She allowed Catcher to pull away from the battle. Yeah. You stupid, stupid idiot. I know. She doesn't learn her lessons. I'm yeah. going to chase after her. Let her run away. Yes. Let her leave the battlefield. How many times have we seen that in season one and season two? That's her whole strategy, Adora. Just don't do it. Just don't leave her alone. Bye. Okay, leave. Run. Just don't look. Yeah, just, just don't, don't look. look. Be mad. No, I'm just kidding. Be mad about it, Adora. Um... So she needs to be smarter. I, I, she's training with light hope, but it never seems to stick. No, it, that ploy has been used so many times. You know, also makes me laugh too. How she said like, "Oh, Bo, you just can't shoot an arrow at her." Didn't like last episode. Didn't he captured capture her? He captured, captured her with an arrow. So I don't know why she thinks. That then he she can. was able to block the arrows the second time. It's so dumb. And then he hit her with the goopy arrow, right? Yeah. Ever, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. But anyways, yeah. But but for Shira, no, I this is where I want for Adora. To be, I know it's very last Airbender, but can she live her past lives? Like see them and see what Mara. And because she, they dump on Mara. I can't believe Mara did this. Mara ruined everything. I hate Mara. And you don't know what happened. Unless it's you like, weren't there, you idiot. <laughs> unless it's gonna be a ploy to where she really saved everything and everyone dumps on her. She, uh, Mara made the most difficult choice to save as many lives as she could. Exactly. And she didn't want to. She tried to find other ways, but it was all that was left on the table. Then she looks at Mar and Mark and speak to her. You know, it's like, how dare you speak of me this way? No. Learn what I did, what I had to. You've made plenty of mistakes, Adora. So who are you to, to crap all over Mara without any, like, uh, you have no uh, context of what happened? I almost wish, like, how, like, she's looking at her past and then, like, Mara's like, well, let's look at your past and let's see that. See, maybe make it to where Mara chose her friends. And that's what caused all this catastrophe. Mm -hmm. So, Adora, are you going to choose your friends or choose what's best for Etheria? You're probably going to choose your friends, friends. Mm, that's and you're going to make the same mistake because you're not going to be able to sacrifice all your friends. See, I would hope that I would hope for a good plot line like that. Cause like everyone dumps on her and they can realize, well, she chose her friends. Well, that's a hard choice. Yeah. And then maybe you realize maybe Mar had a way more difficult time than I thought. Yes. Then just dumping on her all the time. And as for just Adora herself, um, and those, I've reviewed everything she wrote does, I review, because I love myself so much. Uh, all those Swift Wind shorts, Terrible. she's as dumb as a sack of potatoes. What's a birthday? What's what's this? I don't know what you know, how clothes work. <laughs> she, doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't know anything. She she didn't realize, like, the whole last one where she's training with Swift Wind. And Light Hope's like, no, I need you to train like this. Yeah, just like you said. No, she didn't say that at all. What, what are you hearing, Adora? Are you out of your damn mind? <laughs> Sweat friend looks at Adora. Oh, no, she's doing it again. You got to breathe. Oh, okay. Uh, breathe out. Oh, I forgot. 
She's supposed she she was gonna be May Force captain. Yes. So she you think she would be smart? <laughs> At least in fighting and in strategy or something. No. And also, come on, no one's heard of her birthday. Like, oh, a celebration of life of your. Or birth. be able to put two and two together. Yeah. Like, oh, what are you Here's doing? the thing. There was a movie again. I'm gonna believe a referee in this seeing this. <laughs> there was a movie called Kate Leopold. Where the whole process is, it has Hugh Jackman, it's wonderful. He's from the past, he's put into the future, but he's like old timey. But he was able to discern things like, oh, okay. Like he sees cars, he didn't know what a car was, but he's like, oh, he figures it out. Yeah. Then he sees like how now, you know, elevators work and how television works. And he's not like, whoa, like an idiot. Like that's how Dory is. Exactly. And how I remember that movie too, because I remember also um, they go like on a date, like a group date, and one guy wants to take. Uh, the woman that he's uh, attracted to home, and he's like, no, because then he realizes, oh, he means to sleep with her. Even yeah. though that's not maybe something people did back then. Oh, they didn't use that vernacular, but he's able to figure it, it out. out. Exactly. He's not that dumb. They make freaking um, Adora really, really stupid. Like, to the point where it's like, this, she couldn't have survived. Yeah, yeah. Like, like she would have, like, choked on a pencil or something. <laughs> Died. Ugh. Is mayonnaise an instrument? That's how stupid she is. Yeah, and I don't know why I don't. Just fix that. <laughs> be a man. <laughs> be a man. Remember, uh, remember the actually one cool point Adora did was the the knife part. Yeah, she woke up, she had a knife, and yeah. she's like, <laughs> she's like, that was cool. Like more. You didn't get my biscuit, <laughs> <laughs> mother. Oh, um, it's just for her. And there's the thing. Everyone keeps saying, "Oh, she's totally a lesbian." Is she? I don't know. I don't. There's not enough personality there. Yeah, to know. Not, there's nothing. There's no way to discern. I don't think she has a physical attraction to anyone. She. I think she's so bland sometimes with like liking people. Yeah, I, it's it's clear as day that Catra has an infatuation yeah. with Adora. Is it love? Is it lust? We we don't know what it is. We don't know. What it is. But Adora has nothing to nobody. Nothing. Nothing. So I don't know what what with her relationship wise. I just say leave that all out. Yeah. Don't don't let her like a, how we wanted Perfuma and a Glimmer and stuff like to have more of a relationship. I think Adora needs to just be the hero, and that can go and that can be an epilogue exactly. like afterwards. Yeah, exactly. But for her, that I just make her have more of a personality. I, I don't know what else to do with her because she's so blind. You think the main character would have all these avenues or growth, but who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like yeah. I think it would be weird. With I, her only growth needs to come with her. Understanding Mara. Yes. Maybe not agreeing with what we what she did, but understanding why she did what she did. And yeah, understanding her role as She-Ra. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be a good direction for now, because um, I feel like they're not very good relationships, anyways. No, no, no. So. Yeah. And uh, anyone else? I think we pretty much covered everyone that uh, was like a main character. Yeah, we did Dora Swiftwind. Uh, oh, I see Swiftwind himself. He's a goofy idiot. I hear that he has like a song, like a full blown like song oh, no. in season three. Oh. Um, he's he's saying in the past, and he's everything he does is stupid. And the only time I thought he was being a good character was when they were rebuilding that tower, and Adora was being an idiot and trying to smash everything together. And then he goes to help her, and he knows it's wrong. He knows this isn't going to work. But since Shiro was doing it, he's her steed. He's going to help her. I thought that was nice. And they kind of have like a a moment where they like oh you know, like in his horn glows and yeah. they make that attachment. It's about five seconds long, but at least there he seemed like I'm gonna help my master. My my, my, my she she's the leader. I'm gonna follow her, even though I know this is stupid. I'm her horse, and I'm gonna follow her into the math of hell. That's what she's gonna do. Exactly, and I, I love that scene. That's but the other time, like, want to do some loop de loops? Let's eat some apples. <laughs> I'm a communist. It's so stupid. It, it, exactly. He. I feel like some of his personalities right out of the Animal Farm. It's a yeah. book about you know crazy animals uh, uprisings about communism. But anyways. Um, kind of like that, where he believes every animal should be free and we should, you know, do whatever we want. It's like, okay, we get it. We, you read that book. You had a really yeah. fun time. <laughs> you with you it. took the wrong message. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because no, and I just feel like, man, uh, Swiftwind, uh, maybe less talking. I think in the future, just, and, and less creepy faces. And <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> less creepy faces, my god. <laughs> Everyone needs to learn how to draw a damn horse. Um, but he's just a silly side character. I would love for him to get like his armor. Because yeah. in the original one, he had like a really cool like face mask and everything. Give him, I, because remember, uh, Adora got like her gold armor. Wouldn't it be cool if like Swiftwind got some cool armor? Armor, and he's she's like, yeah. Remember how cool. cool Appa looked with his armor? Yeah, he did. Come on, give him some armor. Yeah, he looked cool. He's like, yeah. And be a man. <laughs> <laughs> be a man. Swiftwind, be a man. Just become a man. <laughs> um, that's gonna cover everyone. I I know we have some high hopes, even if when they're where the show is now, there's a good show here. Yeah. 
We wouldn't be able to talk for an hour plus if there wasn't good parts here that could be made great. But every time they come to a decision to do something cool or interesting, they don't. They Unless don't. it involves catcher getting screwed over. Then they do it. <laughs> yeah, but anyone do it. else. They put the hot coals yeah. there. I said, no, we could torture again this season. Catra. <laughs> Catra. She deserves it. <laughs> but um, yeah, season three is in a couple weeks. Um, uh, I doubt anything's happened. I doubt it. Too. I doubt it. But here, I, I know uh, this kind of people say, oh, what would you do to Good Shiro Show? We just, we just explained it. Explain Even it. with these terrible bones, I can shape you up. I can make a man out of you. Exactly. And so, uh, any other parting thoughts? I know this is pretty dang long. I didn't know over it go this long, but that's how it goes. Um, no, I feel like uh, I, I feel like Shira three is gonna be kind of disappointing, based off of what we just said. Yeah, I know. I doubt any of these are gonna happen. And I feel like it's gonna be even shorter, so they're not gonna have that many. I episodes. think they're gonna end at twenty episodes because the first one was ten. Yeah, it was like eleven. There was thirteen. No, I think they ended with twenty. So season one and season two is twenty episodes. Mm-hmm. So maybe season three is the new start, or maybe it'll be just six. And it'll be twenty six. Yeah. That'll be technically the first season. The first season. And that's what I feel like. I feel like it's not going to do anything new. Hopefully, there's at least one plot twist that we haven't seen. I I I, I think Shadow Weaver is going to be that twist because I literally have no idea what she's going to do. Yeah, exactly. We but um, know. yeah, I'm we're going to review one episode a day every day till it's over. Um, it's it's I have to stay up extra late. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> but I do it because it was a challenge to myself. And people seem to like the videos, and you know what? That's that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. It's one a day, every day until my head explodes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. It's, it's an hour long. Again, give us your ideas. Yeah, How would you fix characters? Did you like our ideas? Do you hate them? Do you think they're stupid? Let us know. You can hit us up on Twitter at C50 Podcast. Uh, over on our Discord, there's tons of discussion on our Discord, so that's a really cool place to share it too. Link in the description below. And um, I've been your host, Crimson Sin. Native four five four. Thanks for watching. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.